Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Uganda. This is the one and only Pan-African station, TV Africa, the right to know. Today we have a lot of things to talk about, but I really believe you had a good morning. <laughs> a good morning is that one that really makes you have a bright day. You start from what, you know, how you wake up, how you eat, your breakfast, all that should be really African because everything that has preservatives is not good for your body. Yes, good morning, Uganda. Let's hope everything is fine. Yes, you are. You really asked me about something, my colleague here. Uh, you're welcome. But you asked me about something about Africa and how people people think about. Uh, uh, let me tell you something, brother. People really think about uh, uniting Africa. People really think about um, uh, 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 why is Africa said to be uh, uh, inferior to other countries, uh, other continents. And, uh, but there, there, there are little things that I want you to note about Africa, about the superiority, inferiority complex that eats up people in Africa. One of the things that you should note and you should really, really, really understand is that um, now Africans are very, very intelligent. Africans are very, very strong. Africans are the genesis of humanity. Africans are the genesis of reading and writing and civilization. People get to, know, get to say, you know, civilization started, where did it start from? It started from Africa. We knew how to read. Yes! We knew how to write. We were writing on walls. We knew how to count, knowing the months this month is going to be like this. This is a rainy month. This is this. We knew how to do agriculture. And that is why the white man came and took us to their countries as slaves. Because we knew what we were doing. If we didn't know what we were doing, if we weren't bright enough, if, if we didn't know, if we weren't uh, brilliant enough, they wouldn't take us to work in their gardens. They wouldn't take us to work as maids, as house helpers. Because we knew it all. We were helping them. We were, do, we were doing their work. We, we, were work. we knew how to cook. We knew how to, you know, a lot of things. Let me, let me, let me tell you something about slave trade. Uh, slave trade, when you go to school, the slave trade that you have at school that you learn in school is not the slave trade, the real slave trade that happened. Why? Because the countries that colonized, that, that were key in the slave trade, are the ones that designed the education system. So, there are bad things that they can't want to show you. Let me go back to the genesis of slave trade. This white man was using our fellow Africans as slave masters, as go-betweens, as connectors. They, should co they would connect the black, the black man to the white man and sell us. So when uh, they were taking us for slavery, you remember people died, yes. Many people died. There was a lot of suffering. They would get those, those well-built peop well people, body-built. They had bodies like mine, like Fujingo, yes. They were the ones that were taken for slavery because they knew they could do the work. And we went there and worked in their farms and worked in their gardens and worked as maids and worked and did everything. But because we were different, their women started falling in love with the men that had come to work as left. That's when they started castrating Africans because they knew Africans may, 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 may get kids, may produce in, in the white men, and then things will become not easy. It will be not easy to be controlled. 
So they had to sell, you know, castrate the Africans. Castrating the Africans wasn't enough, but the number was increasing. And uh, they said, we can't manage these people. Let's take them back and manage them from their countries. But again, they needed raw materials. Now, how are we going to take them to their countries and manage them from there? Yes, we don't have raw materials to run our, 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 our industries. So what they did, they had to take us to their, back to our countries and colonize us from there. But there's something you've forgotten, my brother. I told you I'm Jingo Kale because I know what it means to have a slave master's name. How did you acquire that name? How did you get the name that you have? You call yourself Peter, you call yourself Paul, you call yourself any Bridget and all that. But this is the slave master's name. The slaves, when the slaves got us and took us in their countries for slavery, they really, we really had different names, Dungu, Musota, Chijambu, to mention about a few. But they couldn't mention, a slave master could get like 50 people. 50 slaves. The slave master is called Paul. He's taking 50 slaves to America. But he still 50 slaves. When they ask, uh-huh, how many do you have? Paul, how many do you have? 50, yes. All, of, all the 50 are called Paul. All the 150 are called Paul. All the 200 are called Paul. Because Paul is the one who came with you and pay, was paid and sold you. So you are under Paul. So you get that name. So when we came back, we stayed with those names. We started calling ourselves the slave master's name. So are we really out of slavery? Are we independent? If we still have the slave master's name? So, when we were brought back to our countries and colonized from there, they felt we would revenge. And he did. They brought again Christianity. But bringing Christianity in our countries that had, uh, you know, when someone does this, you also do this. When, you, when they slap you in this, Ta they slap you this side on the cheek, you have to turn and slap you the other. Like that. A lot was going on to make us calm down. Because they knew the anger that Africans had. They knew that we were very strong and we could revenge. So when we came back and the Christianity was brought in, Religions were brought in to soften our hearts, but again to take the raw materials to their countries. So we were here and we were colonized, taking our raw materials, taking our gold, taking our iron, taking our everything that we had to their countries. So we stayed feeding them with a lot of raw materials. But then we had to demand for one thing, to be independent. So they said, we are giving you independence. You're independent now. But are we really independent when we still speak the colonial master's language? Are we still independent when we still speak that when we still use their education system, when we still think they are the best, when they still have to depend on them with drugs, send us drugs, they even dictate that you have to use this drug, that drug, that drug. 
Are we really independent? But independence starts with you. Don't be inferior because we believe the black man has a lot of energy. He can do everything because civilization started from Africa. You are the genesis of humanity. So why do you think you're inferior? Let me tell you a secret, my brother. Do you believe that the white man can't dance on any tune? A real black, a really white man can't dance on any tune. Because they lack the melanin. Because they lack, the, they're deformed. That's why they had to form rock and roll where they dance and jump and do everything that they, push, they feel they could do. But you, as a black man, you can follow the beat. You can dance on any beat. You can feel the rhythm. That means there's something that these people lack. And if they lack something, and for us, we don't lack anything. And why do we feel we are inferior? They have planted a lot in us to feel that we are inferior. Using the black dolls. Black, the dolls are black. When you're going for a party, a wedding, you have to put them white to glorify the white. Angels are white. Jesus is white. Just like that. But the black man is certain. Really? So, the, the inferior com inferiority complex that really eats Africans up is what makes us go back. That even we can't use our herbs because they said that is satanic. Because they said, all oh, those are for certain. All oh, what you're doing is bad. You still you need to use our drugs. They are the ones that are pure. But remember, the drugs that they use are got from our herbs. What a shame. Thank you for watching TV Africa. I've been the one and only Jingo Kale. Stay watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is TV Africa Uganda. And we believe you have the right to know, so you should keep on watching. Thank you. Thank you for viewing. For more content on Pan-Africanism, subscribe on our YouTube channel, TV Africa Uganda.